When Frontier Pursuit's release, the Bounty Hunter role was regarded as the most fun and the best new role by the majority of players, and still to this day, read that online players in 2022 will still say that their favorite role and the best role is the Bounty Hunter role. Just take a look at this poll that was taken recently on my channel, and for that reason too, it's always been the role that I recommend most for players to get first in-game. The Bounty Hunter role is amazing from earning money, XP, and especially gold bars, but with the most recent event here in-game that affords players the opportunity to earn double gold through blood money contracts, it really got me thinking, is the Bounty Hunter role actually worth it in Red Dead Online 2022? I guess ultimately everything in Red Dead is worth playing when you enjoy the game, but if you were to just come into Red Dead Online as a new player, would I say that the Bounty Hunter role is the first role that they should pursue? Today on the show we will be talking about that and going over every reason to buy the Bounty Hunter role, and even discussing reasons why I think one should hold off on purchasing this role. And even if you already have owned this role for several years now, I'm curious to hear what you think, so definitely comment below after the video. If you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Now, before we get into if the Bounty Hunter role is worth it, do you know what's even more worth it? It's playing Mech Arena. Mech Arena is the perfect game for all those players out there who may be short on time but still want something really fun and engaging to play. Mech Arena is a free-to-play, third-person mech shooter that offers intense, fast-paced team gameplay in several different 5v5 PvP scenarios. Mech Arena has tons of different mechs to choose from, and these are of course the core focus of this game. Your mech represents you, and each one features a unique combat ability with tons of weapons to choose from and upgrade. There's an even greater variety of skins and paint jobs to complete personalize your mech. What I really enjoy most about Mech Arena is the short but action-packed matches that allow you to get more games in during a small amount of time. Not only that, but this game offers tons of different game modes to suit your gameplay style, whether you like 5v5, 2v2, or Control Point Clash. You can even set up custom matches with your friends. And here's what's happening right now in Mech Arena. There's the new Battle Pass for Season 7, which offers some really amazing new skins for your mechs, new weapons, a new pilot called Stefania, and high-level versions of the Voltaic RPGs, just to name some of the highlights. Mech Mech Arena is completely free to play, so make sure to use my link to download on Android or iOS right now, or just scan my QR code to unlock $45 worth of in-game bonuses. You're going to immediately get access to some really amazing loot like a Steel Reaper skin, 500 A coins, and 70,000 credits to use and help you kickstart your Mech Arena grind. Also, feel free to add me to your friends so we can play some matches together as well. Alright, so jumping into the pros here and why you should get the Bounty Hunter role. Number one, the Bounty Hunter role in immediately gives you more engaging ways of earning gold and money, and ways that don't necessarily force you to rely on stranger missions that don't offer good multitasking opportunities here. And what I mean by that is the bounties just basically give you a different way to play the game. You're going to be earning the same amount of gold over time with the bounty hunter role as you would with stranger missions that also pay you gold. For example, we always talk about the 12 minute method here on the channel. 12 minutes, you're going to be earning 32 gold nuggets normally without any sort of bonuses applied to that content. It's the same for the bounty hunter role and bounty hunter missions. It's the same for stranger missions, but the stranger missions don't offer good multitasking opportunities. And that sort of bleeds into reason number two here. The Bounty Hunter role is great for multitasking. You can multitask and do different content at the same time. Run a bounty and work on your trader role, or run a bounty and work on getting some collection sets. Run a bounty to in order to drag out the time for your moonshine business so that you can deliver later, or even search for bounties while at the same time trying to farm legendary animals, or honestly, a full combination of every role, which is what I do. And third, the Bounty Hunter role equipment and unlocks come in handy really early on in the game. If you get the Bounty Wagon, you can transport targets easier, even in content outside of the actual Bounty Hunter role. For example, when you're transporting like criminal targets during the Blood Money content, the Bounty Wagon could come in handy if you're playing solo. You can capture targets using the Reinforced Lasso and the Bolus, but you also get some really good things here, like Eagle Eye Plus, allowing you to gallop on horseback while in Eagle Eye, so you could search for herbs and animals easier, not just 
just for tracking down targets in the bounty hunter role. You can get the kit satchel upgrade to increase inventory space in your satchel. You get the tonic satchel upgrade to increase inventory space in regards to specifically tonics that you have for your character. Those are all really good reasons for you to get the bounty hunter role. Now, how about the cons and the negative of why you shouldn't get the bounty hunter role, like as the first role you get here in the game? I still would recommend that you get the bounty hunter role overall and eventually here in game, but honestly, when I came out with my ranking roles worst to best here in game, I always said that the bounty hunter role you should focus on getting first. And when it comes to the grand scheme of all content and not just focusing specifically on roles, you actually could just be better off playing blood money content and saving your gold bars for other roles. So that would be con number one here with the bounty hunter role if you were to acquire it, or I guess the pro here of not buying the role, save your gold for other roles first. The blood money content is just fine for gold grinding in the short term. It's content that's gonna earn you 32 gold nuggets every 12 minutes, or in the case of the June event, you're actually getting 64 gold nuggets on the blood money contracts. That is of course only a bonus for the June event. So don't you know think that this is gonna last forever. It is limited time, but when that bonus goes away and it gets removed and Rockstar changes the event here in game, the gold grinding and the gold earning that you're going to be getting from blood money content and bounty hunter content as well as stranger missions or free room events etc it's all going to be the same as other timed missions the other reason is normal bounty hunter role bounties get repetitive pretty fast with of course the exception of legendary bounties but then when you get the prestigious bounty hunter license and you unlock the infamous bounties those are still very fun and engaging and they have really good variety in my opinion so it could be worth waiting until you know that you'll have enough gold for both the normal bounty hunter role which is bounty hunter levels 1 through 20 and then the prestigious bounty hunter license which is levels 21 through 30 so it's the normal role and then the bounty hunter expansion those are two separate gold purchases you can only purchase the prestigious bounty hunter license once you've reached max level with the normal bounty hunter but it would probably be good just for you to have some extra gold waiting around anyway so you could get it a little bit later on and focus on collector first if you're looking for grinding cash or trader and moonshiner if you want more gta-esque businesses here in game and then the third con is gold is everything but also nothing at the same time. You know, gold is very important for unlocking those new roles because you can't obtain them with cash. So you might as well play some content that gives you gold. And Bounty Hunter would be the first good role after playing Stranger Missions to buy. But now with the Blood Money content and you earning the same amount of gold from that and it also helping with your other businesses, it could be worth focusing on earning gold from Blood Money content before jumping into the Bounty Hunter role. So gold is important for unlocking the new roles, but everything else in the game, weapons, ability cards, horses, you know, the actual content you unlock within the roles themselves, like the items and equipment, all those things you're going to be buying with cash. Sure, you could spend gold on them. You know, you could spend gold on the limited time clothing, but most of the stuff in game you're going to buy with cash. So you want to have ample amounts of cash on hand. And you only need realistically enough gold to buy every single role in the game. The bounty hunter role, the prestigious bounty hunter license, the trader role, the moonshiner role, the naturalist role, and the collector role. So those are the pros and cons of why you should and shouldn't get the bounty hunter the role and read that online overall i think you should get the role just eventually because it's content to play but honestly one with the bonuses going on right now with the blood money contracts and just in general if you're just starting out in read that online and you're wondering which role you should get first i actually would recommend you take a look at the collector role and use the gene rocky god map so you can find all the collection sets very easily every day farm those for insane amounts of money sure you cheese levels because you get insane amounts of money and xp but if that's something you're interested in that would be worth putting your 15 gold Gold bars that you earn in game to first as opposed to the bounty hunter role i always say the bounty hunter or used to say it because you put the 15 gold that you first earned from stranger missions towards the bounty hunter role then you start doing those missions and acquiring more roles that you can multitask with the bounty hunter role and it's just great to multitask roles in general but the blood money content is just fine for that as well and we didn't have that up until july of last year so with all that being said hopefully you all enjoyed the video today if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you're new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best read that online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.